So the first question is from Aaron O'Neill and he's asked, what's, what would you say is the best thing about Rangers? The best thing about Rangers? Um, to be fair, I think it's the, it's the, it's the fans. Mm -hmm. um, I always say you can really see the, how big are the fans when you travel with, uh, for European game and game outside the, 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 the Scotland. And uh, yeah, when you see how many fans are traveling with us, that's just something you don't see uh, often. So yeah, I think that that's the the best thing uh, here for me. Scot even oh, even sorry. some some games away from home mm -hmm. feels like a home game. So yeah, something something really nice. Scott McNichol has asked, "What are your pre-match superstitions?" Do you um, have any? Yeah, I just I think I just uh, step on the pitch with the uh, two jump with my left and then just go on with my right, mm -hmm. something like that. Have you always done that? Is that yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, I think always. Yeah, I'm not very s about all those things, but I think I like this one. Ross Dow has asked, "What's your pre-match meal and what do you eat after a game?" <laughs> <laughs> um, pre-match meal. Uh, we've got we've got the chance to have a uh, a chief with us, so. He's making a lot of, of, of good things. Um, I, usually, I usually just eat pa white pasta with a bit of, of chicken because I don't like to eat too much and feel heavy. Um, but after the game is different because when you when you play a game you you lose a lot of uh, a lot of uh, let's say weight and you need mm -hmm. to get it back. So yeah, I can eat maybe a pizza. Mm -hmm. um, Depends. Depends the moment. <laughs> so Jay Robertson has asked, "What's your favourite moment so far as a Rangers player?" Um, I think my my favourite moment so far is the the three zero war, uh, win at home in the derby, um, because after each goal, I could feel the the pitch and everything moving, vibrating. So it was like amazing. Cameron Henderson wants to know what do you think of your song? Of my song, <laughs> I like it. Though. I always. As soon as they started, I recognize it, <laughs> yeah. and I, I, it makes me uh, a, a, a push of confidence when I when I hear it, and I'm very happy. It's the first time I have a song, so I'm, yeah, okay. so I'm very yes. happy. Gordon Douglas says, "How well do you feel you've adapted to life in Scotland?" Um, yeah, uh, good, good. It's not so much different from Belgium. It's a bit colder, but it's not so much different. Um, I was struggling a bit with the with the English at the beginning, mm -hmm. but now I'm getting I'm getting good at it. So yeah, I, I enjoy I enjoy my time here. You don't like the cold, do you? Uh, <laughs> you know when you see the the, the moment here <laughs> with the sun, yeah. Rhian <laughs> Rhiannon Caldwell says, "What was your injury process like, and how did it feel for you sitting out of the games for for that period of time?" What do you mean? When you were injured. How was uh, that injured. for you? It uh, was so hard for me mentally mm -hmm. because um, it was an injury. It wasn't a muscle injury when you know that you will be back in six weeks or four weeks. Mm -hmm. It was like more something with my ankle, and I didn't know. I didn't really know when it would be good. Mm -hmm. So I was just going week after week, hearing the medical staff saying me. Uh, one, two more weeks, three more weeks, and to be honest, it was very hard for me. I was struggling with that. I think they were struggling because I was, I was always on their back. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, um, I'm feeling good now. I'm happy, and you know, we've got a lot of game coming, so I'm looking forward to. Jody Barr has asked, "What's your favorite thing about living in Glasgow?" In the street, when when people see you. And meet you, they're always kind with you. That's something really nice here. Rudy Kerr has asked, who is your best friend in the squad? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a hard question. Though. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I've got a lot of friends in the squad. I'm, I'm good with, every, with, with everybody. Um, to be fair, we've got a good connection with Todd. We came at the same time mm -hmm. a bit, uh, and we had a bit the same uh, story in our, in, our, in our home club. Mm -hmm. Um, but with uh, it's been one year now, so I'm close with with everybody, and I'm close also with Abdallah Sima mm -hmm. because we can speak French together. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah. There is a question about Todd. Um, Scott McQueen has asked, does Todd Campbell's hair look as good close up as it does from a distance? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, not in the morning, no. not in the morning, but uh, for the rest of the time, yeah, <laughs> that's Todd. Um, Jackson Burns has said, what advice would you give to help him reach his goal of becoming a professional footballer? Todd? No, um, Jackson, ah. yeah, so he's sent in a question. Okay. <laughs> no, <you're> not, <laughs> not Todd. Um... <laughs> What advice would you give Todd if it's here? Because we were just talking about <laughs> Todd, so I was like... It's very all over the place. Um, the advice I would give him is just uh, always believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes football is hard, especially mentally. Mm -hmm. um, try to create a carapace around you and just believe in yourself, work hard. Um, you always get what you deserve, so I think, uh, I think if you just get a nice plan, follow it, stick on it, work hard every day, everything's possible. Mm -hmm. Stephen McLeod has asked, when someone asks about Belgium and where to go, what to see, what, what, what would you recommend? Where would you go in Belgium? I'll, in Belgium, if you like football, I would recommend you to go in my, own, my home club mm -hmm. and see, uh, just to sit uh, in, the, in the stand and watch a, a nice game, mm -hmm. because the, the atmosphere is very nice, it's a bit like here. Uh, a bit less of people, mm -hmm. but a bit like you can ask Fabio, he remembers last time he came there, <laughs> we beat him 3 1. He remembers it. But um, yeah, He's that, not that, you that, that. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I would say. Go in Liege and watch him a, game, a football game if you like football, you would uh, enjoy it. Good. Um, Kyle McFarlane has said, Who's the funniest in the squad? I'm funniest in the squad. Um, <sighs> I don't know, there is a few funny guy. I'm, I, what was the funniest? Let me think a bit. I can't say Ridvan because Ridvan <laughs> is always coming with short uh, word or, or sentence that you don't expect mm -hmm. from him. And it makes me laugh, so it's good. <laughs> ah, yeah, Rabbi too. Rabbi is, <laughs> Rabbi is a funny guy. Harrison Forsyth has asked, why do you wear the number 43? Um, because I'm uh, my... my how do you call this um, the post, post post, yeah the city where I'm from? Okay, like. the air postcode. Yeah, so because my just because my the postcode of my city is like four thousand three hundred. Okay. And we just had with our friends, we called us like the group of, of my friends call we called us like forty three. Just just like yeah, yeah, that's something we 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 do in Belgium, like so just for that. Jamie Fru has said, what has surprised you most about becoming a Rangers player? Um, how big is the community of Rangers fans? Mm -hmm. Like everywhere in the world, I think you can have Rangers fans. I went on a holiday for a few days in a small island um, near the Greece. Mm -hmm. and, and in my hotel was maybe six, seven Rangers fans. Mm -hmm. And I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought my, my, my club in Belgium was very famous, but when I came here, I've seen that mm -hmm. here is another level. Ronnie Harris has said, who's the best player you've played with? The best player who I've played with? <laughs> <laughs> I've played with um, that's how I questioned. Um, I think if you speak about pure talented mm -hmm. player, the one that choked me when I was on training or even when I was watching them was um, one guy in my old club called Mehdi Carcela. He played in Benfica and played the World Cup because he's got something different than, I think, a lot of players. Mm -hmm. And he, the one that impressed me a lot when I came was uh, Raza Kent mm -hmm. because he was so fast, moving so fast with the ball and turning. That impressed me. That impressed me. Uh, mm -hmm. Finley Kerr has asked, what is your favourite song? Song? Song. I don't think he know my favourite song. <laughs> no. he's, a, he's a French one. Okay. Um, I have a lot of favourite songs, eh? but to be honest, I can listen rap to R&B. Mm -hmm. I'm listening a lot of things. But I don't think he, he, he would know my song. <laughs> okay. Olivia Edwards 
wants to know if you could play alongside any player, past or present, who would it be? Um, um, to be honest, I'm happy with the player that I'm playing with. Um, but I think I think I would try to play also with Stephen Davis. Okay. I've heard a lot of a lot of very good things about him. So if I could choose, maybe I would try to play one game with him <laughs> and see how how you feel be, uh, next to such a guy like him. Mercedes McMillan has said, "If you weren't a footballer, what would you be?" I think I would be I would be a fighter. <laughs> a yeah, fighter. I like I like to be fair. I like uh, I like all the fight um, sports, okay. so I think I would do something something in the sport because I have energy and I need to to spend my energy, but I think yeah, I would maybe do something like that. Benjamin Gregory has asked, what's it like to play in front of a full Ibrox? Oh, it's, uh, that's, that's always special. Um, I really like the, the song they, they, they're singing at the beginning, um, when they do like every Saturday we follow. Mm -hmm. And every time I hear that song, uh, I'm like like a little boy, just just looking around and listening, mm -hmm. enjoying the moment, and give me a lot of energy for the game. Last one is from Graham Ferguson, and he wants to know what's the biggest differences between playing in Belgium and Scotland. Um, hmm, that's a big question. Now, to be fair, the, I think uh, I think if we speak about football mm -hmm. here, you're playing against a lot of teams that, that are waiting for you mm -hmm. and waiting for a counter. In Belgium, I think the team, uh, the game is more open. Even a, a small team try to play and try to to press you. Mm -hmm. um, it's, all, it's just about the the culture, I think. Um, but also, the difference is uh, that Rangers is a is a very bigger club. Uh, for like by the, if you just just watch how many people are supporting the club and and the community they have, it's a much bigger club. So the pressure is higher and the the demand are higher too. So I think that's the difference between what I've known in Belgium and here.